Before you click away, that's a multiplayer button. And I'll show you how to add it to your game so that you can play multiplayer in Subnautica. You'll need a few programs to do this. One of them is Visual Studio. The other one is Git Bash. Everything you need will be down in the description below. So the first thing you want to do is open Git Bash and paste this command that I will have ready for you down in the description below. Press enter. That will download the entire repository from Nitrox, including Harmony, which is a file that is needed to run Nitrox. So once that's downloaded, you go to your documents folder. There we go. Oh my god, all this stuff. Hidden files. Hide the hidden files. These are videos that haven't come out yet, and yeah, hide them. You go to your Nitrox folder, and in your Nitrox folder, you'll find this, right? So, here's what you do next. If your Steam is installed on your C drive, you're all ready to go. You're fine. That's not my case, though. So here's what you need to do. If your Steam is installed on your C drive, you need to run Visual Studio in administrator mode. So the way you do that is you basically search for it, right click, run as administrator. Because mine was not in my C drive, I don't need to do that. So all I do is I double click, and then a file will generate here called devvars.targets. Let's wait for that. There it is. That will only appear if your Subnautica is not on your C drive in your Steam. Then you right click, edit with Notepad++, I will have that down in the description below as well. Okay. In this folder, you have to find wherever your Subnautica is, right? So Steam, um, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica, and you can copy as text and paste it in between here, right? That's what you do. You save that, and you go into Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, you click Build, and you click Build Solution, right? And you wait for that to build. Once that's done building, it should say 8 succeeded, 0 fails, 0 up to date, 0 skipped, right? So once that's done, that's perfect. That's like one of the harder parts. If you get errors here, comment down in the description below. I will do my best to help you. Okay, so once this is done, we're on to the next step. Okay, the next step is, my files are all over the place, as if you haven't realized that, to download DNS by, or whatever you want to call it. That's just what I call it. You open this, no need to run administrator. Okay, so once you have DNS spy open, you press Control and O. That will give you a window to open a file. Here, you need to go into that common folder again, and Subnautica underscore data managed an assembly C sharp. Once you have this open, you go into this little search bar here. In this little search bar, you search for Game Input. Capital G, capital I. Yeah, if you know how to type. Then you Double click on that, then here you press Control and F, or not, here you press Control and F, and you type in awake. Okay. Now that you have awake, you click down here in between, like just after that little squiggly line, right? You click on that, you press Control Shift E. That'll open this window right here, right? This is very important. This window has to open. Leave your cursor where it is. Click this little thing down here. That will open a file, right? If you did everything correctly in that same managed folder, in the steps earlier, a file, sh file should have been created. You want to double click the Nitrox patcher.dll, right? That's what the Visual Studio did. It placed those files there. Okay. Then, down here, you see I already have this. Down here, as you can see, I already have the line placed. The line you'll be placing there is going to be down in the description below. It's going to look like this. So instead of this line dip right here, you're going to have this, and then you're gonna click compile. Now, I'm not gonna click compile because I've already done this, but what you wanna do is you wanna click compile, right? Once you've clicked compile, then what you wanna do is click file and save all. That's blanked out for me, but what you wanna do is you wanna save all. That'll save this entire file that you've edited. Okay, now that you've done that, you close. And it's that simple. Believe it or not, all those tutorials online say it's really hard. That's how simple it is. Then, just to make sure that everything has gone correctly, you double click your Subnautica and you wait for the magical moment of truth. Multiplayer. 
Boom, there you go. So, next thing you might be thinking is, how the hell do you run a server? Then what you want to do is you want to go back into your documents, into Nitrox, and into Nitrox server, bin, debug, and double click on Nitrox server. Now what I do is I run it as administrator, just in case I like doing that. If all goes well, you should get this. When Once this pop-up shows up, click on private networks, click allow, and then you're going to start up the server, right? So, then you start up Subnautica, and you should be on local IP address right now. It should be set to that for default. Um, so when you click local, pick a username, it will show on the server that you have joined, as you can see right here, and it will start your game. That's it. Congratulations. You've installed multiplayer in Subnautica. Have fun. If you like this video, if it helped you, make sure to like. If you have any problems, comment down in the description below. I will do my best to help you. If you want to see future videos or more tutorial tut tutorials, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you again in my next video. Peace out. This command is going to be fuck sake, Maya. For God's sake, I was this.